Carl, congratulations. 3-0 win. The fans were back and you got a goal. How are you feeling? Unbelievable. Unbelievable feeling, to be honest, to uh, perform like that as well. When it's been over a year without the fans, it's brilliant. Um, it always can be a tough game against a side like that, uh, which they will have been relishing the moment as well to come to a place like this with the fans back. So, no, absolutely delighted. Uh, every man, the boys put a shift in. Uh, it was important to keep that momentum, keep playing that way, and no, delighted we did. What was it like to have the fans back then? Like I say, it's an amazing feeling. Um, you can't describe it sort of thing. That's what we, we play for. Do you know what I mean? We play for the club, we play for the fans, and that moment when we ran out, uh, just, just unbelievable feeling. Did it shock even you, the noise? It shocked me from the back yeah. of the stand there when you guys, first of all, just went out to warm right. up. And then the moment you run out of five to three, did it did it surprise even you the noise? Yeah, no, absolutely. We were literally just saying that then. If we were the boys, I couldn't believe it was four thousand. Said so it felt like six, eight thousand sort of thing. So, no, that's that's what we've got here. And uh, credit to the fans, they were brilliant today, and we're glad to get the result for them. Far be it from me to try and take a goal off of the club's <laughs> top goal scorer, but tell me, tell me you got a contact on I, that one. Do you know what? I come off the back of my heel. And I thought I missed it at first. I was like, oh my god! But I should have got a better contact than I did. But it doesn't matter to me, it's in the back of the net and we've got the three points. They all count the same, don't <laughs> yeah. they? That was, I think, your 17th of the season in all yeah. competitions. Yeah. Um, tell me how, how pleased you are with that return. Because obviously you had that run uh, where you couldn't get one for love and money for yeah, a bit. Yeah, no pleased with that, but it, it could be better. Um, so, like I say, I went through a bit of a bad spell where it just it wouldn't drop for me. But um, no, if I can't chip in with the goals, then chip in with assists. It was brilliant to see Enzo come on. Uh, great for the fans. We were in his 1v1. It was a brilliant strike from him. So... No, no, delighted. Uh, hopefully there's more to come. Yeah, fingers crossed. Why is everything going so well right now? I think sometimes in a season, I think we saw it last year, it just clicks. And I think with a new manager coming in, the, the way he wants to play, the, the different things, it just takes time. And I think everything's just gelled. Uh, we've been on the training pitch and things, do you know what I mean? Things in training, we watched a few things back the other day and you don't realise in the game, but what we've done in training, you see it coming off in the game, which is brilliant to see. So, uh, no, we've just got to keep our heads on the ground. We're in the playoffs, that's the job done, but we've got to try and get this club promoted. So we'll just take it game by game. We'll try and get another win next Saturday and go from there. Great time to click. I mean, obviously, when the season got halted last season, yeah. You'd clicked, you'd won six on the spin, yeah. and here you are, 14 months on, just approaching the end of the season, yeah. this time by a natural conclusion, yeah. and you're clicking again. No, that's it. It's an important time, uh, and it's the right time for it to click together. Um, but no, everyone's working hard. You can see on the pitch, some of the play at times is brilliant. Uh, the teams can't deal with it. So, uh, like I say, we've just got to keep a level ahead. There's still games to go. We're in the playoffs, but... We've still got games to go and hopefully we can get results. Were you able to have any friends or family here watching you today? Yeah, yeah, my dad and sister to come, uh, come today. So now it was brilliant, brilliant to see them in the crowd. And uh, it's brilliant to see everyone. Uh, I've seen Sam's friend here, Ross, who I know as well. So no, it was, it was brilliant, brilliant. I, I guess like for, for you, that may have been like the first time that they've been able to actually watch you play in the, fre in the flesh for 14 months. Yeah. Probably having been at most of your games previously to that, right? No, yeah, absolutely. Um, but no, it was it was... We didn't want to get carried away with obviously the fans coming back in and going away from our game. We wanted to get what we've been doing previous games and most of all just get the three points over the line, which is what we've done. Uh, you're, you're fifth at the moment, but not guaranteed yeah. fifth spot because yeah. you've still got to get something at Bromley next week to guarantee that depending on yeah. other results. Does that actually kind of help to have something still on that game? Yeah, of course. Yeah, it was big, really. Uh, if we get that fifth spot, it's a home home tie. So, uh, no, like I say, it's, it's not the job done completely. We're going to go to Bromley and try and get a three points and get a win. Uh, that's the main priority. Uh, and then it keeps us, gives us that momentum to keep going into the playoffs. Yeah, momentum is crucial at the moment. Um, and just what would it mean to be able to get a home tie so that you're back in front of the fans here again? No, it's more? massive, as you can say. You see today, you felt, felt like there was six, 8,000 people in here and it was only 4,000. So I think that's a big thing for us, especially as well with the pitch we've got. It's in good condition at the minute, it's this, uh, surprisingly, in this time of the year. So um, fair play to the ground staff. They've done brilliant with that. So no, like you say, it's just momentum, uh, three points, they're glad to see the goals going in as well from the boys. So, yeah, we'll just take it on to the next game.